Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series video. So this video um, follows on with the, uh, the, the virtual private cloud topic, VPC. And uh, in this video, it's, it's going to be a lab. I'm actually going to show you how to create an SSH key. And uh, an SSH key is actually uh, quite a, an important and fundamental part of VPC. So, so why do you actually need it? Well, um, we actually need them to uh, for when we start to create virtual server instances. So uh, we actually use SSH keys rather than username and passwords to actually gain access to our virtual server instances. So um, obviously you need to have an SSH key. So um, <coughs> SSH keys are actually more secure um, because uh, you actually need to have the private key to, uh, to actually connect to a VSI. So there's no password to guess. Um, if you don't have the private key on your machine um, and, it, and it actually matches the, uh, the public key, then uh, you, you won't get access. So it's actually a bit more secure than just having a username and password as, as we've actually had uh, previously on classic infrastructure. Uh, you can actually further protect an SSH key as well by uh, uh, creating them and generating them with a password so that when you actually then come to uh, use your SSH key you also need to supply a password as well. So that's kind of like a bit of a belt and braces uh, type approach. So uh, it's, it's, it's actually a good, a good idea to to use passwords if, if at all possible. And uh, the last thing really that I'm going to say before we actually go and create an SSH key um, is, is to, uh, in, in pretty big letters here, uh, do not delete your SSH key whilst you have servers that use it. So basically if you have an SSH key, you create servers and uh, specify an SSH key and then you delete the SSH key, um, then you've also deleted your uh, your access to those servers that you've created. So um, do not delete your SSH key uh, and also do not delete the keys that you might have on your um, on your local machine either because um, you'll need you'll need the uh, the private key to actually um, to actually connect to the server. So um, so if you do delete them uh, by mistake then uh, there's there's no recovering your servers. You can't recreate the key in any way because uh, when you create it, it is uh, it actually um, is a uh, unique. So so there's no way to recreate it either. So so do not delete your SSH key. Okay. With that said, uh, let's crack on and, and get into the IBM console. Right here, I am in my IBM Cloud account at cloud.ibm.com. First thing I'm going to go and do is actually go to the uh, the VPC infrastructure dashboard. So I'm just going to so if you see, I'll just click click on the uh, the three. Um, horizontal lines here, the Hamburg uh, menu, and then just click uh, VPC infrastructure over here on the left-hand side, and you'll see we come back to the uh, to the VPC uh, on classic um, screens. So there's the overview. So if you want the tutorials, etc., then this is where you can go and get those from. But what we're actually interested in at the moment is creating uh, or looking at our SSH keys. So from the left-hand side menu, I'm just going to create uh, click SSH key. And uh, as you can see at the moment in this particular region, so London, uh, where I'm, uh, I'm actually interested in London because that's obviously where my VPC is, um, I don't actually have any SSH key, so, uh, so there's, there's none there for me to use. So what I need to do is actually add an SSH key, so create a new one. So this is actually a, a pretty simple process. <clears throat> um, so and it's basically about just filling in this, uh, filling in this particular screen. So if you want some more help. Um, then you can actually go and view the documentation as well through this link here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, is just go straight ahead and create my key. So I'm going to give it a name. So again, I need to I need to know what this key is when I see it. Um, so I'm going to give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to call this my London key. So again, uh, this needs to be lowercase. Um, again, these are a resource group. Um, Defined, so it comes under IAM. So I'm going to put this into my uh, VPC resource group. Now again, the region um, is going to be London because that's where my VPC is. Now this is the the important bit, and this is where you uh, you need to put in your public key. So um, if you're not sure what your public key is, then you can hover over this uh, over this link here. So it says under here, uh, check for an existing key in an SSH slash ID underscore RSA pub file. To generate a new key, you run the SSH-keygen command. And again, you can learn more from here. But this is this is basically what that means. 
So what I need to do is just um, switch over to uh, to a, com a, a terminal view. So I'm using a Macintosh here. Um, so on my Mac, um, you can just see that I'm in my home directory. So if I then just cd to uh, the SSH um, directory under there, and I'll just list that, and you can see that I've got these three files here. So the first one, known hosts. So this is basically a file which um, which my SSH uh, onboard SSH knows as 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 a host that I'm, I can connect to, and it it's uh, happy for me to connect to. Then these two files here are basically my uh, basically my public and private key. So uh, so so there's one here. So if I so the one that I need is kind of this this one which dot pub. So if I just uh, do a cat um, id underscore rsa dot pub, um, then you can see all of this information in there. And this is basically the information that I need to uh, pop into there um, for for this particular uh, to, to actually create a key. However, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to clear the screen. So what I'm actually going to do is create a new public key for myself, a new public private key pair for myself, which is specifically for London. So um, what I need to do is, is actually um, run this uh, uh, run this command here, ssh slash keygen. There's a command in here. So what I do is ssh uh, keygen. And uh, what it's going to ask me is, so it's going to generate a, a public private key RSA key pair. So enter the file in which to save the key. So um, I'm going to actually save this in a different key, in a different file. So I'm going to call this, um, so it's going to be in users, um, users, James Belton, uh, SSH. And I'm going to call this uh, my London key. Uh, yeah, so my London key. So I'm going to press enter on that. Uh, now the next thing is I can give it a passphrase. So this means so this is actually another level of security. So not only do I need to actually use this key, use this key when I want to log into um, a virtual server, um, I will also be prompted to enter a passphrase if I set one. So um, so for this I am going to enter a passphrase. So I can show you the whole thing. You can leave the passphrase off. It makes it a little little bit less secure. But then at the end of the day, you and your users don't then actually have to remember a, a passphrase if you don't want to. So I'm going to uh, enter a passphrase into mine. I'm not going to tell you what it is for security reasons. Um, and there we go. So that's now actually created the key. So there's a bit of a, a, a random art image here. So again, if I do an ls minus l there, you can now see that I've actually got two new files created. There's my London key and my London key pub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I want to uh, use that uh, public key um, to create this SSH key. So what I'm going to do is, is type cat my London key dot pub, and uh, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to uh, just copy and then paste that into there. So there we go. And uh, again, if you want to see see what this looks like as an API call. Uh, then you can just create that um, API button, and uh, this is this is actually what it will look like. So let's go back to form. So it's quite interesting to see that. So assuming that's all good, so I've got my London key. Um, it's my it's gone back to my default resource screen. I'm not too sure why it's done that, but let's put it into VPC RPG. I want it in London. I put in my public key, and then I'm just going to click here to add my SSH key. Now that just creates the key for me. And uh, that's what I then use for uh, for access to my uh, virtual machines. So one of the one of the thing there, it's very important that you don't um, either delete this key here from from your uh, uh, from from your cloud account, and it's also very very important um, that you don't delete either of these files either from your file system because without those, you won't then be able to log into your your virtual machines or any virtual machines that you actually create using this SSH key. And that's it for creating SSH keys. So uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you next time.